Aloha! Today I am starting the series on Cosmic Flower Rockstar Weave. Um, how to do it. Today specifically we're just going to be weaving a coaster. But I will show you one of the projects I'm working on and finishing is this mat. <clears throat> Cosmic flower rock star weave. Okay. Got it. exciting projects that I want to share, but first to um, learn how to do the basic of this weave because slippers and all kind of exciting stuff coming out to show and share with you guys. <clears throat> so what you do is you set up your lauhala into pre-cut them into strips. Yeah. And we're working with three strips specifically. And always make sure you know which side of the lauhala is the top and the bottom. The bottom has these the lines on it. There's lines. I don't know if you can see, but it has the lines. The lines on the bottom and then the top of the leaf. Okay, so what we're gonna do is make sure the bottom is facing down and we are going to loop it like this. And we're going to do the same with the second one. I'm gonna loop it. And we're gonna put the second loop over the first loop, making an X. Now we want to keep track of these, these um, pieces, the front side and the back side of the these pieces these three pieces okay this third piece goes over both of them and holds it like that together and you're gonna hold it okay Let's see better yeah so like that okay goes over the first one second one went over the third one is going to Hold them like that. So with the first one, the reason why we got to keep them organized like this, please keep them organized this way because we need to keep track the front and the back. What we're going to do is with this first one, we're taking the back leaf and we're pushing it up. In the reason why we got to keep track of them is because they are parallel right now you can see that they are parallel all of them will be like this interwoven but fundamentally they are parallel together the second one the front stays here the back is going to go on top of the first front one and through the first loop it up like that okay so as you can see these are still parallel right these these two are parallel and these two are parallel this third one we're taking the back goes on top of all of them through the first loop and through the second loop and as you can see this also is parallel these two are parallel these two are parallel these two are parallel so we need to make sure we keep track of this process in the weave. Okay, so now what we're going to do, so you tighten them gently. And be sure that uh, before you start, let the leaves soak like 20 minutes. So that when you're weaving them, they're not going to be brittle and rip and break, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go along 
this way to start the foundation of the rest of the um, coaster that we're going to be making. So just like there was the first one, this first one needs a loop. Now this back part goes on top of everything. If you don't make sure it's on top, you're going to end up grabbing one of these and getting making yourself confused. Then we take the second loop. Then take the second loop and make an X. Just like the first one that we did. And then we'll take the third one. And with the third one, we're going to bring it across like that. So with the first one, make sure that we keep track of these two staying together, stacked on top of each other so we don't lose track of where we are and what we're doing. So because this came on top, we're not going to get confused. It goes straight up. So again, it's parallel. This, this and this is parallel. Then we're going to take the second one, the back the back and we're going to put it through the first loop so again as you can see it's parallel this back and this one is parallel then we're going to take the third the back and we're going to put it through both of the loops so as you can see it's parallel these two are parallel these two are parallel and then these two are parallel so how do we tighten the weave we're going to push and we're going to push towards the back and then bring this forward and this is how we're going to tighten the cosmic flower rock star that's weaving together right these are kind of like individual circles of life right flowers of life and we're all connected somehow but through somebody right we're all rock stars right. so next we're going to the next one first one make sure you fold it over but put it on top so we don't lose track take the second one it on top make an X make sure you keep them together and then the third one we're going to pull them together now with the first one we're going to push it straight up to make it parallel we're going to take the second one the back and put it through the first loop we're going to take the third set the back and we're going to put it through the both of the loops to make add on to here so do it like this how I make coasters is I have the foundation on five stars right so there's three so we'll get two more stars on this side so again we're going to bend it in half, bring the back to the front so we don't get lost and confused in the order. Then we take the second and we make a X loop, two loops through like that. And we're going to take the third one. up the first we take the back of the second one we put it through the first loop then the back of the third set and put it through both of the loops the, um, the cosmic adventures of blessings of weaving that come through 
when you connect with the Lauhala goddess. So again, I'm going to do it like this. And the second loop. Make two like bunny ears. I'm gonna make bunny ears. So the first loop, the second loop, I'm gonna make like bunny ears. Then we're going to take the third one, just take the third one, and pull them together. The first, the first one is going to go straight up. Parallel. The second, the back one goes through the first loop. The third, together, the, but the back one goes through both of the loops for the bunny ears. So to bring it down, bring it down, push towards the back, and then bring it up. gentle if you rush through it you're going to rip everything it's more pliable when it's wet but want to be careful okay so we're going to now we got the first five stars connected these rock stars are connected so how do we build from here so from here what we do is is just like the first loop there's two loops two loops here we're going to do is we're going to go with the left one make a loop the first rabbit ear the second one or the right side we loop it we loop it and then the third one so the third one because we're what we're doing is going that way now you take this and make it smaller not equal in length Make it smaller but you're looping it like this making the back one longer than the front so we're just going to co uh, continue doing the same thing the first one just goes straight up the second one goes through the first loop then the third one the back that we're adding in goes through both of the loops Okay, so this is where for the tightening, push it back. We gotta push this back, bring it front. Okay, this one too. We bring this one, bring it down, bringing it down, go like this. Push it back, the back part, bring it forward, and then pull it through. one needs to get pushed to the back to bring it front pushed push to the back to bring it front see even there gotta be delicate the ripping starting that's okay we'll move forward so now with this next one we have all three there so what we're gonna do is I always loop the left side first forward then we're gonna take the right side forward like that making the loops the left side make the loop first the right side is the next loop and then we're going to take this one and loop it together like that okay so the left one goes up first the right one goes through the first loop then the third one goes through both the loops, like that. Then again, um, what I found is easier is like when you're trying to bring it down and pull the weave together, it's not necessarily going to work 
by just pushing in the back but if you make this bring it down and you pull the back like this you pull gently the back like that and then bring it forward so like this to tighten yeah then bring it so it's not, something that you shouldn't rush but try to create that um, locking the locking lock bringing it together locking it yeah. so again the left side loop the right side loops over and then the third one brings it together the left side goes up the right side And as you're weaving, you're going to feel how it's drying out because I didn't get to um, let it sit very long to start this video. So I'm going to have to let it soak for a little bit because I can see that just by the feel of it, it's not um, the moisture is not there to keep it pliable for this, this weave here. So we're gonna bring it that. So hold on one second. I go to do this last one over here. And that way you guys can also enjoy this beautiful weather of Mokuola and the blessings from over here. So how I make it is I'll make the first five stars, then four stars, and then three stars, and then same way with the other side. But I'm going to let this sit because it's in the water a little bit, just for a couple of minutes, so that going forward it's going to be a little bit more pliable in the weed. You guys can see what I got. I just get one bucket and I went cut the the leaves just sitting in here and I get my prep lauhala rolls. Just let it sit. Ideally letting it sit like 20 minutes is good and it's better if it's like warm water. Um yeah. So, did the first five stars right here, and then there's the four. Now we're going to work on the next row right here. So we're going to loop the left side, loop the right side over to make the second bunny ear. Then we're going to add in this part, we'll make it shorter. Together like that we push up the first the left side first up make sure we keep these together of course we're gonna get lost take the second put it through the first loop bunny ear the third one the back of the third one push through all both of the loops like that Adjust them, bring it down like that. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to do the next one. So, 
then what I'm going to show you next after we do this is when there's not enough how to add another leaf to extend it because to make a mat it's going to be a constant adding in to be able to extend the, the weave to go longer. So the left one goes up, the right one goes up and through the first loop of the third one got to bring it to the front goes through both of the loops yep. so tighten it by pulling the back part forward goes back through where it came from otherwise it won't fan out nicely into the cosmic flower star rock star right, so I'm going to the third one So to, this is what it looks like right now for the coaster. I'm going to trim out these sides so that you can get a better view of what it's going to look like. I'm going to continue working on this side I'm just going to be cleaning it up so that it's easier for you guys to see this process for the next So what I cut off is the excess of the other two, two rows. I did leave the fifth row original first leaves. It's not necessary. All of these are not necessary because the only ones going forward will be these, these ones here that create an X. But what I want to show is how to extend a weave so for example if this was cut short so i'm just gonna cut it i'm just gonna cut i think because this one's gonna go that way so i think cutting this one would make more sense i'm gonna cut this one off just make like Oh, not enough leaf. Yeah. So I cut them off. Okay. So there's not enough leaf to go. How I extend the leaf is I will put the bottom of the leaf. This is the top. This is the bottom. The bottom always has the lines. I will thread it through here to the direction that we're going, right? Because we want to extend this leaf right here. So I will, what I do is I will thread it through bottom side 
and then insert it here to go as far down as possible and then what you do is you thread it through the two the two parts the two um, weaving here the two the two loops that is there put it through then you add it like that okay then you have extended and then what I do is I also make sure I cut this flush so I'm going to show you again how I extend the leaf so if your leaf you, you ran out of leaf right here I thread it bottom side facing up through put this part through the two loops on this side as far down as possible I, I do pinch it here to hold it in place and then I will thread through this to extend the leaf through the two loops that is there extend it through like that make sure you cut off try and make this flush the back leaf that's short sometimes depending on the weave over here it could be too tight to slide it through the the two loops so what I do is I in that time I do cut it at an angle like this like that I cut it at an angle like that so then it becomes easier to slide through right if you're trying to slide it through easier for this to guide and slide through especially sometimes this puka part might be a little skinnier so depending on what happens in the weave okay so now we're gonna move forward the next leaf the next row on this side so with the left bend it make a loop the right side make a loop over the left loop this one I'm gonna add it in bring it shorter the front the front part is shorter than the back because we're just adding it on the third to loop over This one goes loop up parallel loop through the first loop the third got to keep track of them together the back one loop goes through both of the loops the bunny ears like that and we bring it down bring it down push it back right side loop then bring the third one loop it bring it close first left side goes straight up parallel the right side goes straight up through the first loop to be parallel the third one goes through both of the loops This one to bring the weave down because get this space this gap right there we gotta bring it down and then pull the back part to bring that one down and bring it up Thank you. 
first loop, the left one, the right loop over the first left one, go straight up, parallel the left one, straight up through the first loop, parallel, then the third one goes through both of the loops to be parallel. loop, second loop over, okay. the first, first loop, second loop goes over, third loop goes both of them, first loop goes straight up to be parallel, second goes through the first loop, straight up to be parallel, the third one goes through both of the loops to be parallel. Bring it down from the back, down, that, okay, so, then, now we're just needing the three, so, what we're gonna do is, take the first one, you make one loop, the second one, Going like this. This one is like borderline shortness, yeah? We go find out. We go find out if this one can or if no can. Might have to extend that one too. Go find out. I think it's like really borderline. So like the third one. Going pull them together. Push up the first. This one. There, yep, we're gonna have to extend them because it's just a little bit too short. So, okay, so now how we're gonna do this? We're going to do like that to extend the leaf, right? We're going to tuck it into the two loops there, fold it into place. Then we're going to slide it through the other side two loops. So you see how like that's getting stuck like that? That's why I will cut. I will cut it to make the, the triangle tip right there so that it can slide easier through the two loops then at least get something to grab to pull it through like that to extend the leaf so gotta cut this flush like that okay so now we're good to go for the next row so we're gonna loop the first one Loop the second one. Take the third. Make this side shorter. Push up the first leaf to be parallel. Second leaf parallel. Go through the first loop. Then, gonna do make sure that's parallel together. But we take the back one and we're going forward. Yeah. Need to tighten this out, bring this weave down, push, push it down. Gotta get the back one like this. First loop, the second loop over the first loop, 
the right side is the second one, get the third one, bring it together like that, push through the first loop, third one goes through both of the loops. down and pull the back one by pulling the back one this way and then we bring that up. This one also needs help going downwards. That. And that. Okay, this is the last one, then we finish. So loop the first left side, loop over the second one on the right side. Then we loop through the together, both of them bring to the front. Then the first one goes parallel, just straight up. The second one parallel goes through the first loop. And then the third one goes through the two loops together like that. So now we just gotta bring it down, bring the back side down. This one too, gotta bring the back side down like that. There, got a coaster. So now, just gonna clean up the, cut them off. Okay, so there we have it. Cosmic Flower Rockstar Coaster Weave. This is the weave that I made a coaster with. That, you know how to extend now and make it longer so you can weave one, one mat. So uh, I came here to do my weaving for anybody who knows or wants to come you're more than welcome to come every friday moku ola over here left side of the pavilion i cruise and chill over here whoever comes and goes going come and go um, for weaving and just hang out cruise talk story um, very inclusive inclusive of all culture religious everything just a cruise space to make I want to finish this this mat out that I make making for my friend so yeah so next time when I do the video I'm gonna do the video on how I make slippers you can make your own weave your own lauhala slippers so yeah get back to roots and when you connect with the Lauhala goddess. She gonna show you. Or connect with who you connect to. They go show you what to do. But for me when I'm weaving connecting with Lauhala goddess, show me the magical things that come. And I totally trust the Lauhala, the Lauhala process. That whole Lauhala process. I totally trust the Lauhala. The Lauhala process, the weaving process. Doesn't matter what kind of weave, or if you crochet, or if you paint, all of that, that journey, that process, that unfolding, and that spiritual side connecting, right? Yeah, so take it easy. Blessings. Aloha. Nityanandam.